G'day. Nice to see you again. I'm safely back here in Bondi after two and a half thousand kilometers around the southeast corner of Australia. And I'm once again plugged into the Waverley Council Renewable Energy Electric Vehicle Charging Network. In my second video, I explained how the journey inland from Sydney to Melbourne was easy and inexpensive, almost anticlimactic. But let me tell you a bit about how the journey around the Victorian and New South Wales coastline was quite a bit harder. And let me explain about the bloody big gap in southeastern Australia and whether I got great dividing range anxiety. The drive from Melbourne started well. I stopped to charge in Moi, which took just over an hour and cost $6.24, although both ultra rapid chargers were out of order and I had to use a fast charge. The next charging point was with the wonderful Jane at RACV Solar in Bairnsdale, which was quite a bit slower, taking nearly three hours for $5. But there was just the one slow charger, and that was the last signed charger for 329 kilometers, until I got to Bega in New South Wales, which, considering my car's range is 276 kilometers maximum, is a bloody big gap. Luckily, I spoke with Michael and team at the Orbost Motel, who let me plug into a three-pin socket right outside my room for an overnight charge, and I got to enjoy a truly beautiful part of Victoria. That left me with 237 kilometers to drive the next day, which should have been fine with that 276 kilometer range, but didn't account for all the hills. The only reason I made it to the free NRMA charge point in Bega is because it's downhill the last few kilometers into Bega. My range had gone from 20 to 10 and down until it flatlined, and I rolled down the hill and onto the charge point with only recovered kinetic energy left, hunched over the wheel, whispering, please, 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 please. I won't be doing that again. So, ChargeFox, NRMA, RACV, whoever, please put in a charging station to fill that bloody big gap in southeastern Australia. The most stunning part of the trip was the drive from Bega to Cooma, capital of the Snowy Mountains, and back again over the Great Dividing Range for a meeting with the Regional Council about better building finance. Not only were the views stunning, but I got to plug the car in to the back of the Snowy Hydro Discovery Centre and have a proper look at renewable energy production with a $9.51 charge through ChargeFox and no great dividing range anxiety at all. Further up the coast, I had the pleasure of staying at the Seabird in Maruya, a great stay with amazing views, and meeting Tim and his team. They fly seaplanes from the Maruya River and power the guest accommodation and hangars from solar, which also charged up the car. From there, I caught a fast charge in Batemans Bay, which was free, although it was in the Dan Murphy's car park and I ended up buying a bottle of gin, so maybe free is relative. Over the hills for my next few meetings, an ultra rapid charge at Shell Cove, thanks to the Charge Fox unit in the shopping center car park, and then a smooth ride home. The total cost for nearly 2,500 kilometers worked out at just under four cents per kilometer, or $3.94 per 100 kilometers. So that's that journey done. It's great to be back in Bondi again. But join me on my next electric vehicle adventure, and if you have any questions, please do let me know. Guess it's time to unplug again.